okay, so I know you don't like Rob, and I've never really met him, so I don't really know why, but where is he? Great question. In his tower. You see, he's got a tower out in the middle of this lake, and then there's a um, the ocean. there's a terminal thing. <laughs> it's a big fucking that, lake. Um, <laughs> that jumps up and will attack us as we get closer to no, it. Right. And um, he's in that tower, anyways. Is that where y'all saw him with the dead bodies, or no, no, no? The bodies crawled out of nowhere, and um, they they came out of a swamp. Yeah. Wait, Kaylin, can't you like talk history? to people? History in this case. Well, the problem is that There's that's really one of the discern. spells that's kind of not working super well, and I'm a little if bit scared to use those spells now because like, oh. there's been a yeah, couple times easy. where her right, spells right. have turned into those weird <laughs> portals, or at oh, least it seems them. like it. They happen. Oh, I'll give you that to do on that one. Instead of her spells, well, I have the sometimes. exhaustion, so it's disadvantage on ability checks. So it'd just be the oh, viral, yeah. right? Mine would have been an 18 instead of a 19. I'll give you an advantage. It's not that hard. Okay. We can this book would have talked about it. 12. Uh, chaos was um, Xenia. Domination was uh, Fires. Chaos is Zephyrus. Elements was Winston. Knowledge was Mini. And Valor was Sora. What? Okay. And I've got this written down. It's more of a. Uh, I want my character to know this. No, it was this. <laughs> yeah, like this I've got all that written was, down. It's more about yeah, my character to know this. Yeah. So okay. That's because that's remember when we first got into the singularity. That's kind of how we were starting to get around. Was because everyone like you were kind of a celebrity, <laughs> or sort of a celebrity. <laughs> so okay, so like um, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, there's those those five stones that you're reading about. There was also those five heroes, and each one of those had this had a stone. And Fires was the one that had the rune of domination. I don't know if that has anything to do with this Rob staff thing. You, you mentioned Rob with the domination thing. I don't know if those are related, but that's what I know about the domination rune. Heroes. We can, we can go back to Greycrest. His brother lives in in Greycrest. Why is his brother? Oh, you are. Did you have a necklace with a hero on it? Oh, this one? Yes, this is Xenia's seal. So do you know anything about her rune or anything? I know that she was a great assassin amongst other things, and her power was largely drawn from the rune of chaos. Does anyone know, like, did she give it to someone, or...? No one knows what happened to most of the heroes, except for Sora, but... (laughs) Somehow she didn't know where her rune was. Okay. Stupid Sora. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Too soon. Don't speak of the dead. <laughs> At all? At all. Okay. So where are the people that really like worship Zenia then? Like what if what, I just what want to mean? remember her? I mean, oh, well, like, where okay. was she from? <laughs> like, maybe if she would have put a rune somewhere, like, where would it be? You know, mm. what area is she from? I mean, wherever you are. Well, there. I don't know about the other ones, but Xenia had a very complicated history. She, um, her whole tie to the rune of chaos was because of something her father did. What would Kaylin know from reading the history of the heroes? In terms of what? Um, <laughs> the complex history or like any areas that are tied to any of these people. Um, you know that a lot of them were kind of came out of the Tunnel Valley. Yeah. So like Winston, Minnie. Oh, um, oh, I have a book on him. What? Biko, where have you been? I have a book on fires. fires. Yeah. Can I flip through that for more information that's relevant? Yeah, and like it's known, I guess, from those two books that fires and the rest of the group actually didn't were actually enemies for a very long time. Oh yeah, that's right. And um, somehow nice. they got along at the end and they came together to save whatever. I assume that most of the history books are very vague about how that occurred because yeah. there wasn't really any historians there. Are, this That's why I, I say whatever savages. 
This might be a weird to question, say, but are any of them still alive? We well, don't know. Sora, maybe. Sora didn't have memory of this, though. It, I mean, the only person that, after the singularity, that seems to have remembered it was Pac. There might be a different Sora. Where is Pac? You said earlier this session, I mean, when the right, white robe thing happened, that a recommend. Yeah, when the person the came down and... Oh, the white robe. Yeah. yeah. The white sage. That I recognized it was white sage. Um, and I'm trying to remember... I, I history I, check. Yeah. Your books are shipping me candy. I think my history is pretty good. Cool. Never happens. Yeah. Just normally. Just normally. I assume we're walking and talking. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 13. Uh, you know that Minnie was the last supreme sorceress of the white sage. Do I know she was a halfling? Yes. Did I don't know what I know about runes, but did what what she did did that seem like a rune type thing? Arcana like check. You would have to have that kind of power. I feel like Arcana check and you two can do a knowledge check. Knowledge uh, or history check. Disadvantage, history. right? Just regular. Just straight. Is it at disadvantage because it's just regular? Person? Then 21. Um, 12. So you know that um, the rune of knowledge also possess some teleportation properties. Oh. I relay that. Is that like in my book? So yeah. It was, I, I so it's basically not just moving in time, it's also moving in space. Which okay. schools of magic were connected to the um, evocation and conjuration. No, sorry. Wisdom. Uh, actually, just divination. divination. Yeah. And then, yeah, there's no second one. So. So. We, we haven't been having the roll D100s for divination. Correct. So, do you think that someone is misusing one of the runes having to do with the schools that, of magic that are having issues? That might be. Um. So my best guess, and I know nobody knows what happened to those five viewers, but I think what we saw today and what maybe it was that Eliora saw take Nolan's body, I think you said? Yep. Um, I think that might be Minnie. Wait, we saw a hero today? Yeah, well, I mean, we see ourselves right all now. the time, but yeah, we, <laughs> we saw... I mean, you had so <laughs> They both had to do it. <laughs> Sara, she was one of the heroes who saved the entirety of multiple universes or something like that. Except I think the what? difference is the one that we saw today and that Eliora saw the other time, I think she still might have her room. She seems like she still has the power. It certainly was oh magic gosh. that seems stronger than a lot of magic that I've seen. Okay, so, what, well, if she's still alive and she still has a rune, then which rune is it that is messed up? Like, what, what, y'all's magic, what's not working? Which rune? The one that we were asked for domination. was the rune of domination from Ra, and he's, he said that that's what was wrong. Is that what was wrong in that cave with your magic? It's one of there them. There was a lot of things wrong yeah. that I did with her. <laughs> where are we at this point? We're yeah, back. you're actually making your way back slowly to the where the old portal is, and you notice that um, it's growing bigger a little bit. That's got Can we reach it from the ground? Yeah, is it still 120 feet away from us, or is it a little lower? It's not descending, but it's growing, so like it's closer to you because it's extended. Is it within 100 feet? Not yet. It's not growing that fast. If I stand on top of Zior's shoulders, is it within 100 feet? Probably. <laughs> sure. That's 10 more feet. Okay. I asked Zior for permission to stand on his shoulders. May I mount you? <laughs> <laughs> Title of the session. I glare at Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bear thing. He for says, so what is the purpose of this? I want to see if maybe I can do something to that portal, but I need to be within a hundred feet of it. That? Yeah, that. 
if you must. <laughs> so I get on his shoulders and I hold my trident up as high as I can and I cast a lightning bolt at it. It's got a hundred foot range. Yes. D one hundred. Uh yeah. And another portal opens inside of it. <laughs> you divide by zero, the world is done. Jesus. Uh, I don't think it's a portal. It's a twenty six. You make the portal grow bigger. Ugh. Because okay, of the yeah. lightning inside. Don. He does it again. <laughs> do, it, do it again. Do it again. In full Vigo fashion. Just do it again. Is it now within 90 feet? Can I get off his shoulders and do it again? <laughs> sure, it's within 100 feet. Oh. <laughs> I he really says, can't. Did you mean do to do that? Um, no, but I can try again. I really think I'd we should not. stop. I think we should do it again. That. I'm curious what would happen a couple more times. Just. <laughs> it's didn't an experiment. You, wait, didn't you guys say you just kept doing stuff to the portal? And, and it, it eventually went away, went away. Last time? Well, yeah, it got bigger and then it went away. But then it became, it got bigger and then it turned into a creature and then well, it we went it away. Well, we already yeah, killed a couple of creatures in and portals today. To fight we killed it then, we can kill it now. Okay, maybe just one escape. more time. No, <laughs> it's gone. It's, what's going to happen? I physically try to stop her. 67. All right, so you shoot a lightning bolt into this thing? Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's the base of a DM that is given up. <laughs> it's 86. Do you want me to roll it? It, it seems to grow, grow a little bit more, but not quite as much as when you fucked up. But can we, the observers, <laughs> you see it grow more than the first? Yes. Like, it works more? The lightning bolt works more? Oh, it worked more? I mean, this time there was actually an actual yeah, lightning bolt. Okay. Yeah. I think we're basically defeating <laughs> the portal yeah. by using magic. Okay, yeah, fine, let's point. go. I'm trying to metagame, I'm trying to get that into the common knowledge <laughs> without metagaming. Well, okay, sorry, I forgot, okay? No, no, not, you're, you're fine. This is Dave's frustrated. <laughs> Biko, like, I think I figured it out. I think if when you try to use magic, it, it might not work, and if it doesn't work, the portal is taking the magic. I think now, even if it, even if the magic, I mean, think about the creature. The creature seems tied to all of this, and the creature was like reflecting our magic. He was both absorbing it, but also reflecting it back at us somehow. And I think something similar is happening with the portals. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, what can you physically do to a portal? You can lightning bolt it, you can touch it. <laughs> There's a lot of things you can do to it. I don't know how effective Helpful those things are. Things. <laughs> or I could, that's more. We could go to the person who we know kind of knows what's going on, which is wrong. Okay, let's first get the cat boy let's back get, to his dad. Yeah, let's do that and let's talk <laughs> to him. See the reaction when she says cat boy? <laughs> <laughs> he, got, oh, he does. He's like, what did you call me? She I said, said Prince. Prince. <laughs> we are frustrated. <laughs> And I just bow super low. <laughs> super low. <Yeah. laughs> the lowest bow. And she's she short, just, so it appears like even his head and like just keeps walking. <laughs> yes, let's get him back. Maybe somebody there knows something. And also, while we're awake in the portal, you can try sending if we still want to do that. I don't think I. Well, I mean, I can try it. I don't but think. I don't mean, think it's a good idea. you guys said Rob was scary, but he. I mean, I don't know. It, if he can help us out, then. Is there another option? Uh, is, there any, is there anyone else? Real options only, Don. Is there another? Is there anyone else that you've talked to that knows about the runes? We Anything? Could, yeah, we could try contacting the purple sages. Maybe they have a way of contacting each other. We've been trying to get a hold of, of Belgram, who has the staff that is part of the rune of domination that might be able to fix all of this, but he hasn't been talking back. What if it's Belgrim that's doing this? Well, this all started, I think, before we gave Belgrim the staff, right? But did it get worse after we gave him the staff? Well, there weren't portals when we gave him the staff. Not that we'd seen, I mean, we but we had just arrived. Sorry, I don't know this. <laughs> we also don't know that giving it to him is what made it worse. But we do know that him having the staff is now the scary Well, he is the one that big pushed. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, let's just go take um, Shen Prince <laughs> back to his home, and maybe we can stop by that market and see if there's any more books that can help us. So they might yeah. have a royal, you know, know it all that can help. I'm sure they like, have a way to contact them. Kind of like them. a sage? Yeah, like a, a cat sage. A vizier? What do you mean? A lion sage? A shen sage? A shen a sage. shen sage. Sorry, I almost said, I was about to say bangle shen sage. <laughs> bangle sage. He rumbles under his breath. Because charisma is about as much as Varys is, apparently. Okay, have we passed <laughs> the, uh, oh. the yeah. thingamajiggy yet? The watchtower? The watchtower yet? Have we passed the watchtower yet? I think we have. Sure. Great. <laughs> sure. Um, is there anything left from our previous fight? Yeah, Lord. Oh, can what we? What about the orb? Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> what the orb? Like the orb and the plant. Uh, could we have picked up the? Uh, the, the, the orb disappeared. The the um Take the plant kind of wilted. There's still no. a little bit of it. Oh, huh? Can I inspect it? You would have to search it? through all the brush. It? Sure. And that would have taken um, four feet of one movement, and then like would take a long time. Like, can I tell if it had any special properties but besides being a plant? Let's do an agent check first. Question: When we were walking through the brush, the orc minefield from earlier, yeah. when we were walking <laughs> on our way back, did, did any of us accidentally kick the uh, orc leader head that was on the ground? Like a soccer ball? Did we I find it? I would say you accidentally kicked oh, it out. None of us is yeah. wide open. Ten. There's orc bodies? Ten. <laughs> you can tell it's not a plant that you've ever seen anywhere before. Um. Hey, uh, Biko, do you... I saw that you had, like, empty vials. Mm-hmm. Pulled them out. Do you want to, like, take some... Okay. <laughs> he just doesn't speak. Just he, yeah, it. silently he gives it to Jay and then he's gonna go to a body and he's gonna do what he does. Can't what else do? What are you doing? <laughs> For our <Yes>. listeners. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna, just gonna pick a body and I'm gonna take the hand axe. And first I'm gonna start here. You need to start now? Yeah, you yeah, actually to describe so where it is. Actually first I'm gonna chop I'm gonna chop the head off and set it up like it's you know, looking at the body. <laughs> then with the hand axe I'm gonna crack open the sternum. And open the rib cage. Um, well, I also want to point. chop off his arms. Okay. And then I want to start examining his organs for why he is. Go ahead and roll a straight strength check. And why he sucks and why is he evil? It's probably because he has blue blood. This podcast is blue blood. <laughs> blue blood. You he have been blue warned. Blood. <laughs> yeah, we're going to. Well, it's thing. not a warning. It already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, guys. You said strength. Retrospective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he struggles breaking the boat, so he just like starts hacking at it. And then by the time you actually pop his ribcage open, you realize he crushed it and all the organs underneath <clears throat> it. That's fine. Okay. I'll look. You, any any data is better than no data. Yeah. <laughs> Physiologically, he seems fine. He seems. Yeah. There's no, no. Everyone else I've ex- examined has been. Yeah, I mean. Alright, one day I'll have a breakthrough. Okay. <laughs> Not today, but one day. Caitlin is going to look through the bodies and see if they have specifically any type of writing stuff that might describe what they found or anything like that. Checking the bodies? But also if they have valuables, I will. Uh, so the orcs do <laughs> So she's going to loot, but she doesn't want to see the most. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But <laughs> um, so you do you don't really find anything on the orcs that were like just their axes and stuff. Okay. But on the mage guy, you do find a book with a skull and skull in it, and you find two scrolls. Mm-hmm. And you also some find some general necromancy components, <laughs> which you might be interested in. Do they have any um like bows and arrows? Or yeah, there's some bows. Yeah, the two archers had bows and arrows. A um, a, sh- a longbow, long basically, and regular long arrows. Okay. How many arrows? Uh, let's just say total. You find twenty-five. 
<clears throat> Can anybody heal me? Oh, um, I have I, one potion left. I'd like to hold on to it. I <clears throat> cast Mass Healing Word. Oh, that's a School. Uh, oh, evocation. She plays Kanye out in Necromancy. Mm-hmm. Twenty-three. Twenty-three on everyone. Yeah. Uh, no, oh, twenty-three. Fails. Yeah, it fails. All right, I forgot. So did I. <laughs> After we had a long conversation about it. How far are we for? <laughs> what, what time of day is it? Uh, um, by I now, do probably use like my well, kit on three ish, three p.m. Yeah. And you. And we're a couple yeah. hours away from. Can you only use the, the actually you maybe like a day walk. Yes. Yeah. Like, you you're still at the tower, and it took you about a day to get here. Okay. Yesterday. Okay. You can yeah. use it a little bit of it. But it is twenty six plus four. Plus four. Should we go back? Because of my healer feet. Um. So two. I think we should just go back to the city. Well, it's a day walk. I think at this point though we're almost halfway. Like a full 12 hour. I'm not standing near those orders. 10 ish. Hmm? You guys have been pushing it. Normally you would walk like 8 hours. Okay. But Wait, you guys are kind of exhausted. I don't think you can yeah. make it. We could go back to the forest. I think that's our best bet is going back yeah. to that overgrowth yeah. where we stayed last night. You're going to pick up a head, the head of the orc. Okay. Now, when you say the overgrowth, do you mean where all the orcs are? No, no the, the last one you did yesterday. I see, okay. Where we, where we, I, where I, we meditated last night. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything to preserve Did her. you meditate or meditate? <laughs> I think we should go back there. <laughs> I agree. Mm-hmm. Okay, we go back there. Um, I'm gonna go. Bloom like goes and scout and checks it out to mm-hmm. see if there's anything has gone in or like if there were any what? orcs or monsters that went in okay. from the court. yeah perception check. Um, what kind of scrolls did you get? Just um, like regular paper or like just a it's just a two scrolls. I was actually gonna. I go up to the two other spellcasters. So, I found this book and these two scrolls. Um, I don't know if it's okay to open them. Like, I, I don't know as much about this stuff. Usually, I like, um, my magic's an eight. I examine well, can we read? The, the scrolls in the book. Go ahead and do an arcana check, please. 19. Woo! Damn. All right. Um, so the first scroll is I'm trying to pull this up. Sorry. Unacceptable. Scroll of summon Tarask. <laughs> summon a Tarask. Let's so. start with the second scroll. Okay. Um, the second scroll looks really weird. Um, it's not a spell that you recognize or anything remotely like a spell that would belong to any school of magic. Um, you um, don't quite understand exactly what it does, but it is labeled at the top as use against mages. <laughs> and at the bottom, there's a, fi- uh, a final fist logo. What the? Okay. I relay this information, obviously. <laughs> um, you missed something. How much do you know about the final fist? I don't know how much would I know. I would assume I would know something because I've been traveling. Oh, uh, history check. There's a in the Cause she, Yeah, because I mean, you, you may have even been attacked by them before, right? Because if you're no, using not when she, not since she joined. No, not since not since she joined. Yeah, like on her own. If she's been using magic. I've been um, you heard the term, but you're not super familiar with them. Okay, so then when I tell you, I don't really understand. So you sure it's a symbol? I'm probably. Explain some stuff. Yeah, okay, so she board. tells me about the final fist. They took it off the board. So, um, yeah, I guess what we tell you is that they're an anti magic group. Um, we've had a couple of run ins with them, and uh, they are a little bit after us. <laughs> a little bit. That <laughs> sounds like a lot of people are after you. It's because we're good people, and there's a lot of bad people out there. The, the, the second, the second um, scroll. scroll is for 
the spell circle of death. All right. What does that do? Uh, creates a circle of death. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> a sphere of negative energy ripples out in a 60-foot radius sphere from a point within range. Each target makes a constitution saving throw. A target takes 8d6 necrotic damage on a failed <coughs> save, or half as much on a successful one. Let's see. Let's see. I found that one to Vico. Is this... <laughs> is, do we know if that's... Uh, so spell of a circle, circle that's something of death. that a sorcerer could cast? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Mm, and yeah, it basically does 86 damage to uh, someone of us. It sounds like it's eight, more of your wheelhouse. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's a level six it? spell. I think like, he said sorcerer. wizard, warlock, or, or sorcerer. sorcerer. Oh, JK. Yeah. Then warlock I handed it to one of you. Okay, yeah. It's better after her. Okay. I just know that I'm not like. <laughs> oh, there's always around. Uh, me. Circle of death. I think it's. And finally, for the book, go ahead and make a perception check. You still have to technically know. Gotcha. Yeah, it's not like a book. It has to be a yeah, spell list. Right. Every time um, I hear scroll, I think of a book. Mm-hmm. I'm Where anyone Skyrim. Could, you know, <laughs> Just the same Oops. way. So it, you notice that it's a general necromant school of necromancy book. But you notice the very something very interesting about the author of this book. What is the who is the author? Of Rob. Is Rob. Oh hey, isn't this that guy y'all have been talking about? Yeah, he's the one that speaks through dead meat sacks. I mean, that would make sense. It makes sense. sense now, yeah. Meat puppets. You said you, you said this is like necromancy? That's like when they mess with dead people, right? Are there other books over there? Yeah. Anything else? Are there any other books that Vico might be interested in? Just, um, just that one. Just and those two scrolls. I give it to you. Um, are you going to ha- uh, hang on to the use against mages? <laughs> Um, I'm a little nervous. I'm wondering if this summons one of those things that we fought in the cave. How about I take it, and if we run into a big Scroll bad mage, I can just run up to him and throw it out of space. Death. Big bad mage like Rob, maybe? No. Potentially. <laughs> if need be. Maybe I will hold on to it. <laughs> Am I carrying the book on necromancy? She gave it to you, yeah. Anybody else want to look at it? Uh-huh. Um, I guess Caitlin can look through it. I don't point. care about necromancy. Um, you can, I mean, once you're done I'm with it, I'll... I'm more interested in reading whatever Rob has. Well, I mean, necromancy is a book on life and death, so I mean, it makes sense for you. That's true. Blue, you flip through it, I'll read through it whenever you're done. But take your time, because okay. I so no, what does she see? Is there anything <laughs> in the um, no, nothing outside of what I said. Um, you notice that there is a, what seems to be a couple of um, remnants of... Um, um, like catapult rocks, sure. so you think this tower was taken out with oh. some form of siege weapon very recently. We'll just tired. She goes, she like goes into the kind of really thick brush area yeah. we built yesterday and she goes to sleep. Okay. She's exhausted. Uh, I ask if you are going to bed and if I can reach the, the next romance seat though. Yeah, I think because I only have to meditate. I think I'm very tired, so yeah, you can go ahead and take that. Are you gonna carry it? Uh, I don't have to. I was just gonna read it. That I'm night. just curious. I'm just. I want to make sure one of us adds it to our inventory. I, think I was gonna add it to my inventory, so oh, okay, that's if fine. you want to just give it, quote unquote, give it back to me. Don, before yeah. I um, I don't show it to Before I go and okay. meditate, I was just wondering if we could work on a word of the day. How about um, word of the day being flee? <clears throat> What what language are we working on today? Uh, primordial, if you don't mind. Primordial again? Um, sure. So, um, you know, I think Biko had a good idea. Uh, flee, I think, would be a good word. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Probably one we should all learn. I agree. That way, if we all have to communicate on the field, but we don't want to, you know, tell everyone else in a language that they would know, I think that would be a good one. So, um, I want everyone to listen and repeat after me, okay? Remember, primordial is kind of that weird language where like the words sound kind of like what they mean, okay? okay. Um, and flee is kind of one of those things oh. that's existed forever. So like that's a thing that, you know, obviously would have a, a word. So um, flee is kind of, um, remember it's very guttural. It's, um, it sounds very much that's like- all primordial. <laughs> So now we're all repeating after you? Yes, no, everyone. Go ahead and mnemonics that. <laughs> 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 
Uh, Biko? I didn't hear you repeat it. I'm writing it down in my book so I don't forget. <laughs> okay, but you need to practice it. Okay, see, you, that just sounded like you were scared. <laughs> <laughs> I think Varys can tell you. <laughs> Perfect, he had the accent down and everything. Okay. It's like you were Thank scared you, and then you tripped. <laughs> you tripped. It's all great to uh, oh. a great teacher here. Well, you know, I, I try where I can. <laughs> Ten minutes, pretty sure. <laughs> okay. Are you reading the book? Yes. Um, so right away the book goes into the study of um, immortality, essentially. And Roth starts talking about uh, like multiple methods, but he starts talking about um, dragons and how the only real... Effect uh, way someone could become immortal or examples of immortality are the um, ancient dragons that are reborn after they're dead. I'm sorry, what? Interesting. I'm reading the book. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, so basically they're Varys reborn in, in a phoenix like that. It realizes you can't read. Okay. <laughs> and that's just what the first chapter is talking about. Darn. <laughs> okay. Interesting. This book doesn't have pictures. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It's just ritual circles and chromatic dragon. Chromatic dragon does, I bet. So they really don't need pictures. pictures. They've got really good pictures. <laughs> so I can't paint tonight, but I do want to read my book on Rollos uh, during that section when I'm not meditating. Okay. I guess are you gonna? When are you meditating? I assume we would just switch off. I'll, I'll take so, meditation first. Okay. And would I'm, an, like, I, I'm like an evening elf. So. Yeah. So my thought was kind of, we have, you know, a four hour first watch, a four hour second yeah. watch, and the person in the middle does like the two middle hours. So they're up with the two different people. They okay. overlap. Yeah. Keep someone company. Biko said, this sounds like a great idea you think. Put the blanket over his head and goes to sleep. Kaylin's already asleep. She's just... I'll keep you comfy, girl. And as you go <laughs> to sleep, we will end the session. Woo! Woo! Ah! Okay. <laughs> you just see that as you hear that as you fall asleep. Is that is that how we end all the sessions? Just sleep. <laughs> Run, you fools. <laughs> All right. Um, you guys get 4,000 experience each. All right. There's more yeah. than the 700 Ooh. I needed. Level 10. I can run on more. Wait, Wait what? How was it that? 4,000 plus inspiration. Sweet. Nice. Is that inspiration before or after the level up? After. It's fine. Yeah, an extra 10. What is that? Woo. Uh, inspiration. How many did you get? One. So you so get. Did we get a full rest? Should I, I can I mark that I got a full rest? <laughs> uh, I don't so know. you leveled up. Now add. Okay. Add ninety. Okay. So exhaustion. Oops, nah. If I if we have exhaustion, does a full rest did you take all? Already add 90 it, like yeah. I have two levels. Yeah. So you should exhaustion. Exhaustion. you do one, I believe. That's it what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have exhaustion, you only lose one exhaustion level. I guess we technically don't know what if I really want really really rest? Yeah, yeah, so you shouldn't be doing anything yet. Um, yeah. Alright, great session, everyone. Alright, everybody who's been watching this turned into a podcast because the camera didn't work. But hopefully next time we can figure out a way of doing it right. Probably so, we're still on recording. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, we're having fun. Um...